going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, we're going to take a little breather from the mega truck stuff. I'm going to start feeding some other things onto the channel a little bit here and there because I got a lot of other interests other than just mega truck stuff. So I'm going to start feeding this into y'all and see if y'all like it. In this particular episode, the hyena and I are going to hop an airplane. We're going to go down to the Bahamas. We're going to do a little bit of shark diving. Now, this has actually turned into quite the cluster. I'm not going to lie. Well, we decided we were going down there about a month and a half ago or so because we got to take care of some other things. And we decided, you know what? While we're down there, why don't we do some skydiving? Why don't we do some shark diving? Let's freaking live it up while we're down there. Of course, freaking team killing it, bro. Well, they don't do skydiving anymore down there. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't know if they had some accidents or what the hell. For whatever reason, they do not offer in the Bahamas anymore, as far as I could tell. But there is shark dives available. So we went ahead and booked our plane tickets, booked our shark dives. Everything's dialed in. Well, the freaking hyena decided to remind me yesterday that, hey, bro, make sure you grab your passport before you head out. Oh, shit. Totally freaking spaced and forgot that I've got to have a passport to be able to fly out of Florida down to the Bahamas. Yep. Really screw the pooch on that one there, Zacho. So, check my passport, and that some expired last year. So, last night, I tried calling the passport office down in Miami because I'm like, oh, whatever, a little hurdle, not a big deal. I'll call the passport office. I'll get one expedited. Be able to get a passport. Hopefully, before I even get on the airplane, we'll be dialed in. Well, I called and called and called, and no one freaking answered. Well, first thing this morning, at 8 o'clock this morning, as soon as the freaking passport office opened, I start calling them. I'm like, hey, I, I got to get a passport immediately. I've got plane tickets already booked. I've got a shark dive already booked. I've got this trip all set up, but I do not have a valid passport. So, I'm like, well... The closest point we can give you is about four or five weeks from now. I'm like, did you not hear me? I'm leaving like in like 24 hours. I need a passport like, like yesterday. They're like, well, there's nothing we can really do, sir. Basically, you're screwed. But what you can do, you can call back, see if there's any cancellations. Try calling back periodically. See, so it doesn't always happen. It's not guaranteed, but it does happen from time to time. So throughout the entire day today, I have been calling them. I've been at work, but I kept an earbud in so that every few minutes, go ahead and just hit the call button real quick. I already knew all the answers to all the prompts, so I talked to somebody, see if there's any availability. Nope, no availability. Nope, no availability. Well, around lunchtime today, I was probably about 20 calls or so in. Finally started getting some availability, but none of it was in Miami. They said, oh, well, we can get you an appointment over in Atlanta, or oh, we can get you an appointment over in Boston. I'm like, well, I'm in Florida. What? How, how the hell would that help me? So I started getting a little crafty. I'm like, well, I already spent the money on the freaking plane tickets to get down there. I already spent my hotel and everything to stay down there. I already got the shark dive all lined up. Would it be the worst thing in the world if I just flew over to wherever the hell they get me an appointment, got my passport, and then flew back to Miami, and then flew over to the Bahamas? So I started tinkering with that idea a little bit. I'm like, oh, God, it's going to get expensive. I don't know if I want to do this. So kept on calling, kept on calling, kept on calling. Finally, was about to throw in the towel. So then this evening, I was actually in the gym working on it. I said, ah, what the hell? I'll call him one more time. Got an appointment for tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Oh, brother. And my freaking plane doesn't leave till 1130. So fingers crossed, I could probably still make my freaking flight. So I'm going to haul my ass home, grabbed all my stuff. I'm getting ready to jump in the dually, drive down to Miami. The hyena's actually already down there with Josh. He got us a super bitch in hotel room. Going to hang out a little bit, maybe get some dinner, chill, party a little bit. And then first thing tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., I'm going to try to get myself a passport. And hopefully, we can make it over the Bahamas and still do a freaking shark dive. So... Got a lot of stuff ahead of us. A lot of things got to kind of fall into place to make this happen. But uh, fingers crossed we can make this freaking happen, bro. Life's all about timing. The hyena says it all the time. And timing almost screwed me a little bit. But I got a freaking appointment. So glass is kind of half. It, it's starting to fill up. So, But as always, make sure you guys hit the like button at the bottom of the screen. And hit the subscribe button down there in my channel name. That way you get notified when I upload any other videos. Like more of them super bitch and truck tug of war videos y'all are loving. <laughs> freaking truck tech talk videos not going to be doing so much stuff with the killing mega truck i got a couple more things i got to do to it but then we got a couple other projects that are up our sleeve and i would start doing some more boat stuff there's gonna be all kinds of super bitch stuff on the channel so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be part of the action yourselves but i need to hurry up and quit john we need to get our ass down in miami so we can freaking start making this trip happen bro so here we go Got in late last night, didn't do a whole lot, went and got some dinner over at this kind of bitching place downtown. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So now I'm up, it's about 15 to 6, 5.45. My appointment's at 7, so with a little bit of luck. i to go get my passport and still be able to make it on the plane by 11.20. We will see, though. It's kind of a lot of stuff to happen in a short amount of time. Uh, kind of a crappy morning here in freaking Miami. So let's jump in the duel and get on over to the freaking passport office. <laughs> Good. This freaking parking garage is not made for real trucks. Almost turned into freaking convertible pulling in here. But we're doing pretty good. My appointment is not for another half hour. I 
and I think I'm pretty much here ish. So, oh boy, they just turned on the lights. Hopefully, we'll be getting in very soon. All right, y'all. Well, Miami is a whole different animal. Apparently, you can't go anywhere without a mask in this place. Still, apparently, that's still a thing. But I got my, and I can't take the phone out really at all and record anything when I'm inside that office when I'm doing the passport deal. But I got everything submitted. Was out of there by like 7:20 or so. Super quick. So props to him on that whole freaking bottle of people, and I got to see there very fast. So now I sit back and wait. They say that my passport will be ready at noon, which kind of blows because I'm gonna miss the first flight that I was supposed to take, which was 11:20. But Whatever, it is what it is, I'll get to the airport and figure it out. So, now we wait. Well, guess what, y'all? Your boy got a passport! Oh, boy! Time to get my ass to the airport, find another ticket. Because I missed my plane by about an hour and a half. Probably almost two hours. So, it's freaking go time! Oh, God, what a great freaking feeling, y'all. Y'all, it's, it's, it's right freaking here. You're yeah! Freaking, oh. <laughs> Well, you all was able to get a ticket on standby and that retains my original ticket so I'd have to pay more money. Yeah, super bitch. So my new flight is gonna fly out at 4.30 today, which is about three and a half hours from now. <sighs> man, yeah, man. Life's all about time and Brooke says it all the time. He's freaking dead on balls accurate. Wouldn't show, he even made it through freaking security. Oh boy. And I'm on standby and they say they got 26 seats left, so chances are I should be able to get one. There's only like two hours left for people to buy tickets, so. Well, Looks like I get to go, guys. Bam! All right, y'all. We're freaking in. We're going shark diving in the Bahamas. Oh, yeah! <laughs> we have officially made it into the Bahamas. Now time to find a taxi. Oh, brother. Pull a rabbit out of the freaking hat this time, y'all. I'll tell you that. I don't know why it was because they chum up the water. Yeah. To bring the sharks down, you know, some sharks might eat, some didn't eat, you know. So one probably got aggressive, but when she got when she got bitten, um, they didn't really have no EMS, no medical supplies or nothing like that. So that's really what caused us to come to our Where did she get bitten? Like on the arm, the leg? Upper chest. Upper chest. Yeah, so like he probably bit off one of her breasts or took them. Piece out there. Yeah. Sounds like it might have hurt a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no doubt it did. <laughs> All right, y'all. I have made it to my hotel. Paradise Island, the Coral Run. Y'all, I just got a chance to get all settled, so check out my new pad. Pretty banging. View is kind of cool, too. Check this out. That's pretty sick, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna see what we're gonna get into tonight. Probably nothing too crazy, because uh, we gotta be up pretty early tomorrow morning. But earlier, I don't know if you guys were catching what was going on. So I was in my Uber from the airport to the hotel and my Uber driver was explaining how the same company that we're actually diving with tomorrow, they had a woman that was diving with them last month and she got bit and died. Like not injured, she, she died, like she's no longer here. Oh, well, that's pretty unfortunate, but that means we're definitely gonna see some sharks. Hell yeah, super bitch. So, We'll reconvene tomorrow morning. Oh, well, we had a little bit of fun last night when we checked out the aquarium and everything. So now I just woke up and head on over to the Hyenas Hotel and grab some food and then jump on the shuttle bus that takes us over to where we're going to go scuba dive with some freaking sharks. So the hyena finally freaking showed up. Ready, dude? Ready. It's freaking party time, bro. Letting you know. So as we're sitting here waiting, we were kind of just thinking, Thank like, you. from Jaws, so he was talking about the black, lifeless eyes of the sharks. Yeah. And they come at you and they don't seem to be living. Right. Until he bites you. And those black eyes roll over hold white. On, on. And those black eyes roll over white and then... Terrible high-pitched screaming. Oh, then you hear that terrible high-pitched screaming. Ocean turns red. In spite of all the pounding. And the hollering. They all come in and... Rip you to pieces. <laughs> all right, y'all, after quite the wait, our shuttle has arrived. Oh boy. And we're off. We have officially made it onto the dock, bro. Yeah. 
Now we gotta fill out some forms and see if we use bid, it's not their fault. I don't know if Don will be sure. Okay. All right, so we got all of our forms filled out. Now it's time to get some equipment. We're getting that much closer. Right. You ready, bro? Yeah, dude. Got all locked and loaded. You got your knife? Look at this guy. Brought a knife. So what? Do you, what's your plan here? You get attack You're just gonna like stick them? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. So we're back on the surface. First dive is done. Getting ready to load up for the second dive where they're gonna be feeding some sharks. So they're saying that the first dive was just an appetizer and now they brought out the real deal. more serious. Old boys brought his chain around. You ever still been bit with that stuff on? They still bite you? You ever been bit with that on? Yeah, but nothing happened with this. Nothing happened? Does it hurt at all? A little clamp? You feel it. A little pressure? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna switch back over to the GoPro and going down. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I gotta vent better against people who patent it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're with my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through, through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough 
and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I'm Gonna learn the consequence of being incompetent Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away I could play a million mind games, but instead I say Something not illogical, something that is topical Grab it on and watch it go, make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible If you just believe, you could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head, a collage and they spread I'll be great one day, going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind I gotta make it, I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages A bacon, modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself Slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off, I get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now I keep making sound, go another round, time legend bound, can't stop me now you don't wanna fuck with me A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things That you couldn't believe Just tell me that I can 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 That concludes our Bahamas shark dive. What do you think, bro? Yeah, that was nice. It was nice, it was freaking freezing. But other than that, it was pretty sick, dude. Sharks every freaking where. Thing is freaking badass, dude. That was pretty be hard to top it. Definitely hard to top this dive. But so maybe whale sharks or something. What? Do you instinctually sit when you clean or sometimes? It's freaking good. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, y'all. So I wasn't even gonna put this in the freaking video, but it's so badass, I kind of wanted to show you guys. So in one of the hotels, this one is the Royal. This is where Kirk's staying. And like all the rooms and everything are like back that a ways. And then it's a big tower. But down here in the main lobby, there's like a huge aquarium attached to it. And then there's like this like trail thing you can kind of walk down where it's got, it's like kind of like going to uh, like SeaWorld or something like that where they got all these aquariums and all this like aquatic stuff. So I'm gonna walk around and show you guys a little bit because it's pretty freaking sick. Like look right down here, there's literally like the hotel's there and there's a freaking huge aquarium right here. It's so sick. But then you go over here and it's like this, I don't know, it's like a tunnel, like a tunnel thing. It's pretty freaking cool. These are pretty freaking wild. This place is wild, isn't it? Pretty freaking cool. If y'all enjoyed the video and want to check out future videos, subscribe to our channel. Hit that button right there. While you're at it, hit the like button at the bottom of your screen. You can also check out our website, killingitlifestyle.com. There you can follow the Killing It crew and order your own apparel so everyone will know you're killing it! Yeah.